and we're back here again and this time we're going to look at um, putting some um, effects on there i've already gone into my effects effects window here i brought up my effects window here so i've gone from learning to effects here okay and then within this menu here there's all sorts of different effects i've just been looking at a few before i did this video so just for the sake of this i'm going to, just going to show you a video effect here so that you also look something like that to begin with in video effects i'm going to look to do a little distort for instance and i'll do a turbulent displace um and i'll stick it on there like that okay so this video now plays and it's all sort of like turbulently displaced or warped uh, how, however you want to say it now be careful in the use of these sort of things because what you're trying to do is create something professional so you might want to have a look at a few you can always use Control z or command z you've got it on command z takes it undo so it takes it off again and look at things and depending on how much time you've got you can have a play with different sort of effects and it's also similar for um for transitions as well there's transitions down here and i tend to use the same transition throughout again just drag and drop in between two clips and that's the way one clip goes into another but you don't want too many fancy things and you definitely don't want things flying in and out okay so that's how we um do effects on there if we're looking to do text um what we should do is go right say i want some text right at the beginning here i'm going to get my text tool from here and i'm going to just click on somewhere like that i'm going to just go welcome for some bizarre reason or welcome to this video yeah which is obviously you'll write something more intelligent than that and you want to get your effect con effect controls on now i've already got mine on here if yours is not up you go windows uh, and effects effect controls okay and that means you can actually start to mess about with this text so if i highlight across it here okay i can then open that up and then go oh i actually want to change the font to i don't know perpetua for some bizarre reason i want to make it bold i don't want to make it uh, center aligned i can also go oh i want to put a different stroke on this and all sorts of things like that. oh what's that what's up to is it going really massive okay oh oh dear i can make it really big like that or really small yeah welcome to this video okay a little small message like that okay i can then also uh, put a stroke on it that's around it i can also as well put a background on it and choose a color so let me put red on the background there, and that effectively puts it in a red box if i want to move that now stick that down here voila. okay so something like that and then that's on if you look that's on the timeline there and it's on for that amount of the video if i want it on to be on longer i can drag it out like that all right indeed smaller something like that so that's the idea here so that gives you some basic intro in how to use adobe premiere pro one thing i will say to you is and one thing i haven't insisted on throughout this is make sure you're saving as you go along as with any program like this that's um, high capacity and demanding of the computer it tends to now and again freeze or uh, just bomb out so you want to be saving and because you've got it all set up originally um with the right folder and everything you can just go Control s or command s on the mac and you can or you can do file save like that so make sure you're saving as you go along and it'll be saving back to that folder make sure everything you use be it image video or whatever that you're bringing into this video must be in that same folder 